We have made these efforts to Mars and all other planets for the same reasons, for the furtherance, preservation, continuity, prosperity of mankind, and to satisfy our inquisitive nature. My question is, why are we going so far into space when we have barely explored our own planet? Allow me to indulge you with a little mathematics. About 71% of the Earth is made up of water. Now, over 80% of the oceans remain unexplored. That would mean over 50% of our Earth has been unexplored, unmapped, and uninvestigated. Why not look into the potential of such a vast expanse of life and untapped opportunities? And we would explore for the same reasons, for the furtherance, preservation, continuity, prosperity of mankind, and to satisfy our inquisitive nature. Now, the oceans have a similar topography when we compare it to our dry land, just simply underwater. They have flora, fauna, hills, hot springs, and much more we do not know about. It was so aptly put by a band from the 70s named America in their song, A Horse With No Name, which said, the ocean is a desert with its life underground. And yes, life underwater is a treasure trove. Organisms underwater don't simply live or survive, as many might put it. They thrive. And they thrive in conditions that seem extreme to us. Pressure that can crush our bones, temperatures that reach below zero, and they live in places without light. Places in complete and absolute darkness. Each creature of the deep ocean life possesses unique characteristics and features that help them thrive in this deep ocean ecosystem. This the intricate ecosystem holds the key to a wealth of knowledge, the knowledge that holds the potential to cures for diseases and bio-inspired materials, the knowledge for the furtherance, preservation, continuity, prosperity of mankind, and to quench our never-ending thirst of curiosity. So as we get ready to plunge into the ocean, the question we must ask ourselves is how? How do we actually get into exploring the oceans? Unfortunately, at this moment, ocean exploration programs are not that prevalent. However, organizations such as National Geographic and NOAA, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, provide opportunities for people who are willing to present their ideas for ocean exploration and are willing to explore. But these organizations are for a later stage of exploration. I reckon first, we must educate ourselves on what is already known, on what already is present on ocean exploration, and provide educational opportunities to young learners by incorporating it into the syllabus. Now, whatever way you decide to jump into the boat of ocean exploration, from simply learning more to scuba diving into the deep depths of the ocean, or even becoming a marine biologist. Know that you are exploring a world for the furtherance, preservation, continuity, prosperity of mankind, and to satisfy your, your inquisitive nature. I would love to take you further on this explorative journey. But given the restriction of time and space, I would have to conclude by saying and inviting you all to take a deep dive into the ocean, both metaphorically and physically. Thank you. <laughs>